day starts. I could show you what I've been up to the past couple weeks by just putting up a picture of me staring at my phone. But hey, that's not real interesting, is it? Night steals in, pacing the floor. There have been auditions and performances this week, but as I look forward, I also look back at where I've come from. It's been about six months since I left Ellen Stardust Diner, and you can only go up from there. Broadway stars have passed through these hollowed halls while they wait for their big break. And weeks go, weeks go. Seasons. Since leaving Ellen's, I've done a lot of projects, adding four lines to my resume. The most recent of ones was Suds, a new play that we put up at the Producers Club. There are several levels of small contract that you can use to put up your new works in New York City. Showcase code, a 20-hour stage reading, and, well, I've done them all. And each one has their own limitations to stop producers from taking advantage of hungry actors. A lot of these things take place in tiny little venues, and they don't pay you a fortune. But who knows? A lot of big shows start out this way, and getting on the ground floor is great. Plus, you get to act and sing and dance. It's something to invite your agent to. And when you go into the audition room, it's always nice to say that you're working on something. They're often low on glamour, but high on art. And you do meet a lot of great people. I think my problem comes in, you hear no so often as an actor, you never want to say it yourself. And in these projects, you get asked to do all kinds of things that maybe aren't included in your contract and you may not be receiving fair compensation for them. And I'm not just talking about three hour rehearsals with no breaks. Now true, I've never been shy about my body and maybe 50 people saw this play. More people actually watched this blog than saw this play. But for a play in development, was it necessary for me to do this photo shoot? Especially for what I was getting paid, to do this play, a play that we held the scripts in our hands. Ah well, lesson learned. There are other virtues to being partially unemployed. I've had the time to revamp all my music and really work on it. The moments creep. Yes, I can. And I've been hitting all the play auditions, which involves some time focusing on my mom. Is it contracting? Is it standing on one leg singing, Father painted the parlor? <sighs> Leave me out. She walks in beauty, like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies, and all that's best of bright and dark meet in her aspect and in her eyes. He wrote that coming home from a party. So. What is it you're doing with Grouse Valentine? I'd love to know. You know, though, there are other benefits to staying in one place, other than the professional reasons of trying to get on Broadway. Living out of suitcases on tour and in boats, you miss a lot of things, and you miss certain people. My best friend is on tour right now with Christmas Carol, and as much as I love a big stage with lights and costumes and fake snow that comes from the ceiling, this holiday, I'm really happy to be home with the cats and the husband. So the phone didn't ring these past two weeks with an offer from Phantom or really an offer for anything. In fact, the only time it rang from the agency was for an audition for Into the Woods, which I would love to do, but they were calling a different client with the same last name as mine. But I am thankful for the things I do have, like a husband that makes Excel spreadsheets about what he's cooking for Thanksgiving. And I think I found a new job that's going to allow me to retain this level of flexibility. You know those audition studios I spend all my time at auditioning? Why not work the front desk? It's flexible, and in the meantime, I found a catering job where I can work events and cater a few hours a week and make about the same amount of money. Life isn't perfect yet, but I'm enjoying the wait, and I'm really enjoying not waiting tables. Go from ridiculous past to ridiculous present. Here are the opening credits to that play I did. Why were the opening credits? I don't know. What new ridiculousness lies in store? I guess I'll just have to wait and see.